Have you been injured in California? You've seen a doctor, a doctor's providing you temporary work restrictions and you're wondering, what do I do? What are my obligations? What are my employer's obligations? Hi, my name is Michael Burgess. I'm a legal certified specialist in California workers' compensation. I'm a trial attorney and I'm the managing attorney of MBNA. This video is going to focus on the employer's legal obligations when an employee reports a work-related claim and turns in a medical work restriction or a temporary work restriction. First, the employer has far more legal obligations than the employee. Their first legal obligation is similar than the employee's and that is they need to timely and effectively communicate with their employee. Technically, they have to engage in what's called the individual interactive process and they're legally obligated to make all reasonable accommodations unless it represents an undue burden on the employer. That's a mouthful. But first is they have to effectively communicate. So the employee turns in a work restriction. Sometimes that changes. Two weeks later their work restriction is uh, harder or easier. Whatever that is, whenever there's a change in the temporary work restrictions or the ability for an injured worker to work, the employer must engage in that individual interactive process and they need to communicate with them and they need to see if there's an effective way to make reasonable accommodations. So first, the employer is legally obligated to timely and effectively communicate with their employee as to their ability to work. Second, they are legally obligated to make all reasonable accommodations. What does that mean? Well, you look at the individual worker's essential work, uh, uh, job performance or, or essential work functions and you see, okay, is there another job that they can do or that, uh, can they do that job within those work restrictions? Let's say the work restriction is no lifting more than 10 pounds and that this person actually does have to periodically lift more than 10 pounds. Well, an easy accommodation would, would say, hey employee, if you do have to lift something that's above 10 pounds, ask one of your coworkers to do it. That's a very reasonable accommodation. But again, the employer is legally obligated to make all reasonable accommodations unless it's an undue burden. Now, technically the employer, in order to determine that it's an undue burden, has to make a timely investigation and conclude that it is an undue burden on the employer. I rarely see that happen. And if if and only if it truly is an undue burden on the employer, then they don't have to accommodate those temporary work restrictions. And if they become permanent work restrictions that they can't accommodate, then essentially the employer lays off that employee, which then opens their third obligation. And that is that if the employer can legally accommodate, they do. In the event that there are permanent work restrictions that the employer cannot accommodate, that triggers a whole onset of additional employer obligations. They have to timely notify their employee that they're essentially laying them off because they cannot accommodate those permanent work restrictions. They have to pay their final uh, uh, paycheck with all accrued benefits owed. They have to then send something called COBRA notices, which then if the employer was paying for their medical insurance, they must give the employee the obligation and right to then purchase that insurance. Um, and ultimately, they then have to pay into unemployment because if the employer is laying off that person because they can't accommodate those work restrictions, well, the injured worker is entitled to unemployment and the employer has to pay a percentage of that. So. This was a video dealing with the employer's legal obligations when an individual uh, worker provides temporary work restrictions. Uh, but again, I have videos below uh, going into detail on the employee's legal obligations and the overall big picture on the legal entitlements. I hope this video has been very helpful. My name is Michael Burgess. If you have any questions or concerns, give us a call. We have the answers. We're here to help.